Hi, this is Jez Harkin of Kesko's Air, and I'm on the uh, the machine. Oh, I was going to call it the Zoom machine, but it's a, some other kind of machine as technology. But we're talking to Katie Palm from the Kesko Center. Now, Katie is the director of the Visitor Center down there in Mount Trampner. So, Katie, welcome to Kesko's Air. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So we all know what the Caskills Air Center, Caskill Center does. So what is coming up? It's Labor Day, Sunday, September 3rd. We're having what is called the Caskills Celebration. So if you can describe to the people what the Caskills Celebration is and what it entails. Sure. So the Catskill Celebration is going to be a family day at the Catskills Visitor Center. And um, we're going to have activities going on from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And there will be different activities, including um, the Spirit of Thunderheart, which is a two-time Native American award-winning drumming group. So they're going to be performing. We will have Raven Spirit Wildlife Center here to do their Birds of Prey show. So we will have some live birds for people to interact and see. Um, we are going to have several hikes um, for families and children. Uh, one of them will be how to use a compass, and they're going to be challenged to walk out to our fire, ta fire tower using their compass. Um, so that should be a fun activity for the kids. We're going to have some staff here from the Thomas Cole Historic Site, and they will be doing some art activities all day long um, for families. Uh, we will have some of our Catskill Center staff on site to do some other craft activities. Uh, we'll be making fake binoculars so the kids can go out on their hikes and um, see things up close with their homemade binoculars. Uh, we will also have um, two authors here. Uh, one wrote a book called Finding the Blaze, and she's going to lead that activity I was talking about um, using compasses to find our fire tower. And then we have local author Peg Benedetto, who's going to do a reading from her book, Ebony Bear. Um, okay. We will also have um, a staff person here who is going to collect macro invertebrates from the stream and help people identify them. So if you're curious to know what a macro invertebrate is, I hope you'll stop by our event and check it out. Um, there will also be some food. We're going to be do, um, having a small picnic. Um, and so there will be food with a suggested donation if you would like, or you are welcome to bring your own and picnic right on the property. Um, the event itself is going to be free with a suggested donation of $5 per person or 15 per family. So we hope everyone will come out and join us for a fun day. That sounds like a good deal. So what's the timeline? When, when does it start and finish? Sure. So it starts at 10 a.m. Uh, the first thing we'll kick off with will be Thunderheart, the spirit of Thunderheart. Um, at 1030, there will be a nature walk with one of our staff ecologists who is hoping to find some animals and birds to look at around on our nature trail. Um, at 11 o'clock, we will set up those wild and crazy macro invertebrates. So we hope folks will stop by that table. Um, and at 1130 is when Mary Ellen will be doing her program hiking with kids with the compass and the blazes. Um, 12.30 to 1.30 is our Bird of Prey show with Raven's Beard uh, Wildlife Center. And, oh my goodness, I forgot. At 1.30, we're having a very special walk. Um, that will be with Justin Wexler. And he is going to do a walk along the Esopus Creek and talk about the history of the Catskills and the native wow. peoples that used to live here. Um, so that's 1.30 to 3. And I hope people will stop by for that. And then at 1.30, we will do a Leave No Trace hike with families, um, with one of our staff members, and we'll round out the day with a reading from Ebony Bear from our local author, Peg De Benedetto. Wow, that sounds great. And, and uh, it's a suggested donation of $5 a person, which is well worth it. It's a great family day out in the Caskills over Labor Day weekend. So we, we wish you all the best. Where exactly is this taking place? Now you have s several um, spaces yeah. up here. So where is this taking place? The Catskills Visitor Center is located at 5096 um, State Route 28 here in Mount Tremper. Um, we have plenty of parking and um, hope you'll come and join us. Great. Well, thank you so much, Katie. And I wish you all the best and all the great things that the Catskills Center do up here. And people should be aware of it. And go take the kids. Have a great day. I'd have some food, listen to some drumming. Uh, what are these invertebrates again? What, what are they? Uh, macro invertebrates. 
They're creatures from the water that you can see with your naked eye that do not have a backbone. So. Oh, wow. Very popular along the Asopus Creek. Much like myself. <laughs> oh, I doubt yeah. that. <laughs> Much like myself. I haven't found my backbone yet, Katie. So, but um, best of luck on that. And um, it's from 10, 10 a.m. onwards. is a $5 donation suggested, $15 per family. And you're down there in Montrentner, and it's the visitor center. And the best of luck. And um, have a great Labor Day weekend or great Labor Day Sunday out there. Thank you, Kate, for joining us. Thank you very much. And best of luck. <laughs>